Hi, I'm Gohar Vardanyan, and this is a video for the Strings by Mail Repertoire series. In this video, I'll be reading through the second of the eight expressions written by Michel de la Vie called Hotel Sans Etoile, which means a hotel without a star. This is a really beautiful and delicate piece, and probably requires at least late beginner to intermediate playing skills. It's very straightforward, and all the left hand fingerings are written in, as well as the suggestions for the right hand fingering. Uh, musically, it's also very clear. Um, there is ritardando, rallentando, and fermata markings, and um, you know you have your melody and the accompaniment that should be balanced the right way. The one suggestion I would like to make is how you treat the repeated notes that appear in the melody. So if I play from measure five. You have these repeated notes uh, that repeat um, that appear more than once in the piece. Then you have measure seven. So those things appear two more times, and then the whole piece repeats. The way you treat them makes a difference in the way the piece sounds. Um, as you noticed, I didn't play them straight, so I didn't do... I kind of did a crescendo going into the downbeat. And then same thing here. And this is because out of the four notes, um, four same notes, or the four times, the last one is actually more important because it's on the downbeat. The first three, they're just an upbeat leading into the downbeat. But if you play it completely straight, you're putting too much emphasis on it. That really shouldn't be there. Really, you're trying to take a breath while those three notes are being played and you're going into the downbeat, the last uh, note of the four. only the crescendo, it's also how much time you take. So instead of playing them all metronomic, you could stretch it out a little bit and then speed up as you go to the, to the downbeat. And then the same thing repeats in the, the other two lines. treat them will make a difference in the way it sounds and what you do with them I would leave up to you but you have options in playing with the time playing with the dynamics and putting the emphasis on one note or the other to make it sound like your own but also following the rules of the music and the pulse of the music other than that 
I think the music, the, the sheet music has everything that you need to know to learn it and you shouldn't have much trouble with it. And if you'd like to order the whole um, eight expressions, as always, you will find a direct link to the Strings by Mail catalog. Thank you very much for watching.